Hey YouTube, what's going on? My name's Fawn. Today I am bringing you guys a little bit something different than I usually do on this channel. I mean, I, it seems pretty normal because, you know, I'm sitting here on Call of Duty, you know, that's something I usually do every single day. But, uh, you know, sometimes when I play the game, I have, you know, some, some pretty decent gameplays, I like to say in my own opinion, and I have some gameplays that are, you know, above average, you know, compared to other people's. So, uh, you know, I thought I would just go ahead, be a good guy, and, you know, share with you guys the classes that I use. Um, right now, I don't think I'm the max level right now. Here we, I mean, this is also on PC, you know, PC players play a little different than console for the most part, right guys? But I just wanted to share this with you guys because I think that, you know, I'm level 30 right now. I got a pretty good amount of guns. I got basically everything I'd really want to use. So, uh, you know, I play Domination a lot. I think this will this is pretty good for any game mode, honestly. Well, maybe not Search because in pubs you might want to use a silencer if you guys don't want to uh, show up on the minimap. But I myself, I don't really use a silencer. I think I have good minimap awareness. I know where the uh, enemies are going to be coming from no matter what. I know the spawns pretty well. I know, you know, a good amount of things that makes me not really want to run a silencer for the most part. So I'm going to go ahead and hop in my first ideal AR class, guys, right here. Ready? Either I would use the Man of War or the XR2. I know a lot of people like the KN44, but I, I feel like it's not, it's just really not the best AR to be using. Like, there's a lot of better ARs. Well, a good amount of better ARs than the KN44. I would make a Shiva class if I had it unlocked, but you know, I don't really use the Shiva honestly that much anyway. So here we go. I'm going to hop in. The first thing I would probably make is an XR2. You see, I have this variant called the R2D2 on my XR2. I think I let the Prophet hold that uh, for his weapon for a showcase weapon here we go the first thing i would slap on guys is an elo because i don't really uh, like the sights on the xr2 that much i'm not a big fan of them so the first thing i would definitely throw on is the elo second thing i would throw on is the quick draw sight and uh, i didn't mention i would throw on the elo rather than the reflex these are the only two real viable sights in my opinion to put on uh, for an ar not really a thermal i mean a boa i've heard a boa is decent but that's not something i would really put on i like the reflex rather than the elo because on the reflex guys if you guys haven't played call of duty black ops 3 yet which i'm sure a lot of you have and also a lot of you haven't maybe but um you know the reflex it's like a square right it had but um the elo it's like a it's like a three-part square with the top cut off guys you understand what i'm saying so you have like a, a wider field of view rather than you know uh just like the box you have to look inside of a box you're looking inside of like a field goal so it's like a, it's a little easier guys if you really think about it so i'd slap on the elo 100 percent second thing is quick draw guys because with without quick draw like you're just you're just not really you're not there man you're not really next level guys you got to have quick drawn if you want to be next level and uh you know because it'll just help you pull up your gun faster aim down the site quicker than your opponent unless he has on quick draw too which then in that case you know you guys it's just whoever hits more shots wins second thing third thing is stock stock does not make as much of a difference as it did in the past call of duties like aw and uh black ops 2 and you know, i think that there was just a perk for ghosts so you can aim down the sights and move faster uh they didn't have stock and ghosts but yeah quick draw stock and the la and i do uh for ars i usually put on uh three attachments and, a, and an elo site uh so then the la last thing i'll put on is rapid fire because rapid fire just totally melts the opposition guys recently i joined a game late and uh, after I joined the game late, I, I, I like we were down by a good amount. I pull, I was like, all right, I gotta really pull out the XR2 with rapid fire just to, to put these guys, you know, down in the dirt. You know, make sure I actually dropped like 60 bomb in like the the second half. I, it got deleted from my uh, from my what do you call it, my theater so you know i can't really show it to you guys i do have the xr2 gold first thing this is universal you better have fast hands on literally every class guys because other than that you're just going to be getting melted and you're going to be wondering why uh second thing i want to put on is dead silence guys because dead silence is you know on pc there's a lot of sound whores mostly everyone has a headset so if you're not running dead silence guys rip rip you guys and third thing i want to put on is ghost because ghost it just it, it hides you it hides you in the mini map it's really really good i would put on the rk5 that's my favorite pistol uh in this game i, I know the mr6 is really good but my trigger finger is not up there I, I do have a good amount of camels on the rk5 as well so yeah guys i'd say that that is my ideal class for that you know i i don't have any tacticals on this at all you know this this class is just straight for killing guys this is just straight for if you want to slay them out get your streaks don't don't throw any tacticals you know you're not worried about the other team getting streaks because you're you're ending all their streaks you don't need any emps or anything like that because you're not worried about any streaks being in the air right so that's my first ideal ar class we're gonna move right on and uh you know for the most part i think i'm an ar player you know if i ever played competitive if i ever you know was at, on an actual team i would 100 percent be an ar player i think i can be a hybrid though too i'm pretty good with the sub uh you know also like a, a 
Slayer OBJ guys like Slayer OBJ I feel like that's my role for the most part guys so I'd say uh, you know I'm just gonna do another one of these uh, AR classes right here here we go and you know Man of War right here again like I don't really like the sights on the Man of War too much they don't fare too well for me so what I do I throw on an ELO site right there first thing I do quick draw again guys because you know without quick draw you're just you're just not next level guys you got to be able to uh, pull up your gun real real quick and uh, you know obviously a grip you I mean not a grip uh, a grip would be pretty good on the on the Man of War but I don't know I think I'm pretty good with the uh, with the recoil there and the, the last thing like I said guys on uh, AR you definitely want to slap rapid fire on there because unless you if you don't have rapid fire I mean hey you can do well but you know rapid fire just turns th this gun into like a mobile a really like really long range sub you know in my opinion it turns into a long range sub guys so you know who wouldn't want that and again this is just a class that I would really focus on just getting so many kills so you know I would slap an RK5 on there and I would you know throw on you know whatever camo again blah blah doesn't really matter guys you know I got the storm camo so I'm gonna throw that on there. We're gonna do do a subclass here. We'll do a subclass for you guys. Okay, obviously. Wait, no. Before that, we'll we'll just do the man of war because I mean the M8 because you know who doesn't love the M8? Oh, right now I don't really have all my attachments on it, so I throw on a quick draw. I wouldn't really throw on a grip really. Uh, fast hands. Let's see. Dead silence. Of course, it's basic, basically universal on any class. Uh, RK5 is definitely what we're gonna want to throw on for this as well. And then I think you know just because of this, I would throw on like a danger close. Oh, I don't have danger close yet. So what I would do is I'd throw on maybe like an overkill, and then I'd put on uh, maybe a sub. Maybe a sub, what do you say? Mm, now nah, guys, I think I would just throw on, uh, I'd throw on a KRM just to be that guy. I'd have a KRM on, and you know, I don't really want to use any of that because I am close to getting my KRM uh, gold. Well, close, close enough, you know, that's the only uh, shotgun I really use. I use it as a secondary. And, uh, you know, I, this is a class I throw an EMP on, and I've been using the Semtex a lot. I really do like the Semtex, a really good uh, tactical in this game, or a lethal grenade in this game. And now we're going to move on to the subs, guys. The first sub I'd probably want to use is the CUDA, because it, it's just so darn good, guys. Think first thing I put on is quick draw, long barrel, and then, you know, put on that primary and put on rapid fire, guys. Rapid fire just works so well, in my opinion, and I think that, you know, you just can't pass it up. The same perks, the same exact thing, guys, but like I said, um, I've been working with the Semtex. I would throw a Semtex on. I do, I don't use a sight for any sub in this game, you know, I don't really think it's that necessary. Definitely not, and, uh... Secondary I throw on again would be the RK5. Basically, you know, like like I'm saying, this is universal for me, guys. Like I don't know uh, if you guys are understanding or not. Throw an Inferno camo on. Why not? And then uh, yeah, that's gonna be that class. And then the fourth class, you know, I'm just I'm just gonna do five class, guys. It's gonna be the fifth class I'd use. Ideal. Um, I, it would be the Pharaoh, but I'm not gonna. I don't have the Pharaoh right now, so I'm gonna say VMP. Do have this gold quick draw grip and long barrel, guys. That is what you would really want to throw on. Uh, basically, any sub if you throw on long barrel, it just you know increases the range, which is you know why wouldn't you want to do that? And then you know the same perks as always, guys. You know nothing too different. We're not gonna switch it up for the most part. Semtex on there and an RK5. So that's basically my class is what I would basically be using, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name's Fab. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on social media. Definitely check out those playlists. I'll do I'll do another one of these later if you guys want. Again, thank you.